Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Bigfoot Answers. Uh, I haven't made a video for a while, I've just been busy doing some other stuff. But what I wanted to show today was something that uh, I did show how to make multiple layouts in a previous video. But uh, this one, I want to show how to make multiple maps and multiple layouts, uh, similar to what we used to have in ArcView 3.x. Um, I was famous for having like these giant project files that were kind of getting out of hand, out of hand. And I think I might have held the world record for the most number of maps and uh, layouts. So what, what were they called? I can't remember what they were called now, but they were were maps and uh, or views, maybe views. It's coming back to me. But it's so long ago, 20 years ago. How do you do that? So, OK, so we've got a map created by default and I'll just break it down by base maps. Okay, so this one's going to be the imagery with um, some, let's go with a Great Lakes map. Okay, we've got a map, and then we're going to go to insert. We're going to go new map. So it goes to map number two. You can't actually uh, rename these maps by right click or just clicking on there. And uh, let's go, uh, this one's going to be a topo map. Let's go back to this one. This one's going to be the imagery map. And OK, so you want them. Let's say I want them all to be in the same area. You go to map and then you go to two bookmarks. I'm going to say new bookmarks and call it Great Lakes. OK, OK, and we're going to click OK. Then I'm going to go back to my topo map that I've created. Bookmarks, Great Lakes. There we go. So it's basically the same extents using that bookmark. So and then we're going to insert another map. Insert another map. And this one we're going to use the streets at night, one of my favorites. And I'm going to rename that streets at night. And then I have to go to the bookmark and Use that Great Lakes bookmark. So we've got three maps in my in our project. And then you can save it, save your project. And then I want to go to insert new layout. And we'll go with the letter size. Yeah, letter size like that. And the first one, we're going to say this is the imagery layout. Post down below, if you can remember, ArcView 3.x, like 3.1 or 3.2. They were views. Were they layouts? Post down below. Let's see what we can do. Uh, okay, and we want the map frame. We want to match that with the, let's go with the Great Lakes imagery. So it's going to be the same extents. There you go. There's the map. There's the layout. New layout. Letter. This one's going to be the topo, topo layout. Insert the map frame, and there it is there. And one more to do. Insert new letter. It is streets at night layout. Streets at night. And we go map frame. Streets at night. And there you go. So you've got three maps, three layouts. And yeah, you can save those. And that's what I've got to show today. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. So this could be endless. Uh, I don't know what the limits are on the number of maps, number of uh, layouts. But as I said before, I was like, I was out of control. It used to take it used to take probably 10 or 15 minutes for my APR file, the ArcView file, to open. And then I think eventually one day it did crash and I was in all, all sorts of trouble. Anyway, hopefully you have a good day, guys. See ya.